Right, I'm going to show you how to waterproof um, fireworks um, in a proper way, um, a bit better than using just a normal plastic bag to wrap your fireworks in. I'm going to be using three fireworks. Dragon's Den, it's a fairly large piece. Show you how to uh, waterproof a candle as well. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to waterproof this big one, perfect storm. Uh, what you'll need um, for the waterproofing um, is either some shrink wrap like this or some cling film. Um, you'll need a roll of sellotape, uh, possibly a, ro um, a roll of uh, packaging tape, uh, clear packaging tape like this one, uh, a pair of scissors and possibly a knife as well. Okay. Uh, the first one I'm going to um, start waterproofing is the Dragon's Den. So I'll make a start on this one. Right, the first thing you need to do is locate the fuse. Um, it's fairly um, easy to find um, with, with most fireworks. You can either find the fuse on the top of the firework there, or sometimes it's on the, one of the sides. Um, but all the ones we're waterproofing today, um, all the fuses are on the top. So the fuse is underneath the fuse, um, orange fuse protector there, and the same. In the perfect storm as well, the perfect storm has a fuse just under the uh, fuse protector there as well. Right, so as I said the first thing you need to do is locate the fuse, so um, the very first thing you need to do is waterproof the fuse as well. So you just have to peel the fuse protector back, All right, and then with uh, Stanley knife very carefully um, as, as the fuse is located un underneath the cellophane wrap it's just cut into it very carefully like that and then take the fuse out very carefully trying to retain as much of your original packaging as you can so just pull it up so as it sticks up like that and um, what I'll say is as well with the fuses um, the fuse on the fireworks is the most susceptible um, to damp and wet. So if the fuse does get wet, it's quite likely that um, it won't light, or if it does light, it might go out before the fuse actually reaches the shots in the tube. So therefore, um, it won't go off, might not go off at all. So um, what I'll start off with is just waterproofing the fuse. So all you need with this is just your sellotape. So you need to cut off a length that will cover the fuse both sides, so it needs to go up one side of the fuse and then come back around and go down the other side of the fuse to totally encase it within the cell tape. So all you need to do is get a nice length of cell tape, about that length, that's probably good enough. Cut a length off, it down. Right, and all you need to do is best to stick the cell tape onto the actual firework first and then run the cell tape right up to where the fuse goes into the firework and then lay the fuse against the cell tape so as it sticks to it and then fold the other side down. So as it totally covers the fuse like that. Okay. So I've, and then stick the other side of the facilitate down on the other side of the fuse and the firework. So now you've got the fuse that um, it stands up and it's totally encased in the cellar tape and it is totally waterproof now. Um, so this will protect it from any damp or wet or any rain that might um, occur on the day of your set setting up of the fireworks. So just press the solar tape together um, up against the fuse as well so it's nice and tight and enclosed within there. So that's all you need to do. Right so that's that's the fuse waterproofed. So, so it's okay just to lie that back down against the firework.
So once that's done, um, you can actually get on with waterproofing the firelock itself. So if I just move these out of the way, you're going to need a little bit of space here. You'll need probably need your scissors and your knife again. So you'll need those. And you'll need your sellotape again. Just remove, take away those bits. Right. So just put the firework to one side for the moment. And what you need to do is lay out a length of uh, your shrink wrap or your cling film. In this case, I'm, I'm going to be using um, shrink wrap because it's a little bit better than a cling film. It's a little bit stronger as well, and it will um, cling to the firework as well. Bring out a length of that on the table. <coughs> Decent length, so you've got a foot to a couple of feet worth of uh, shrink wrap laid out on the table. So, with that, you just place the firework in the, 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 the middle, roughly. And um, what I normally do is bring the first side up over the firework, like that, so, um, and then just cut it down to make sure it sticks to the firework. And then bring the other side up over uh, and it's okay to um, keep the fuse inside the, um, the shrink wrap as well. That will give it extra protection from then going wet and damp as well. So go, go over it one way, just firm that all down so it makes make sure there's no air bubbles inside or anything. And then with the scissors or the knife you can cut the other side. So just cut so that it's covered um, at least four of the sides of the firework. So just, if I just turn that round, you can see it's all pressed against there like that. So with, with the actual ends that are loose, you can just fold them in as well. So normally I bring the bottom up first. Uh, it's a bit, bit like uh, wrapping a Christmas present. So, then bring the sides in, like that. And then finally, uh, so it's nice flush up against the firework. You do the same with the other side as well. Turn that round. Bring up the bottom first. Sides. Okay, so it's flush up against the firework as well. Okay. So it's not quite done yet. Um, what we're going to do now, because um, we're going to cover these sides as well that haven't been totally covered, because there are some air gaps um, around there that can easily get in. So we just want to make it. Make sure it's nice and water water uh, watertight. Right, okay. I just need to bring out the shrimp wrap again and lay another couple of feet out on the table. Should be enough. So just do the same again like you just did but with the other sides of the firework. So you bring the firework back over, make sure you put it the other way around this time. So you're going over it. Okay, bring the farther side up and put that down. Press it down so it's nice and neat. Bring this side back over. Okay. 
go pack the sides down and then you can bring these sides up again now. So we're going to do the bottom first and then the sides and then the top. That's the bottom. There we go. Well, that's that side done. Do the same with the other side. At first, and the sides. The reason I do the bottom first, um, and then the sides and the top. So, so if it is raining, um, the water will come over the top, and is less likely to get in um, to your waterproofing because it will be coming down, rather than if you bring it up from the bottom, it might get into the bottom. Okay, so that's that done. So the final touch is a bit more sellotape just to keep all the sides down. So just find the end again. And what you can, what you can do is just go round uh, top and bottom of the fire out with some sellotape. Just to make sure it's uh, sealed properly. So pull it fairly tightly. Go all the way around the firework. Don't need to go around many times, just once is fine. And then cut. There we go. So that's the top done. And then just go around the bottom as well. Like so. There we go, just once is enough. And then cut the bottom. There we go, and this is one waterproof firework. So as you can see, every single side of the firework is waterproof nicely. It's all been covered in your shrink wrap or cling film, and it shouldn't get any water in it. Um, obviously, you protect it from the bottom if it's sat out in, in a wet field or it's been placed on a wet cake board. It won't get any uh, moisture or damp in the bottom either which is where normally all the fuses, internal fuses are, um, are kept in the fireworks so it should be nice and safe from that point of view as well. So that is your completed Dragon's Den firework, fully waterproofed. Um, when you do come to actually light the firework as well, um, it's best just before lighting if possible, just to go round with a knife if you just carefully cut through and the waterproofing and then uh, bring out the fuse so as it's a bit easier to light. I mean if it, if it is very very wet and raining a lot you can leave the, the uh, fuse underneath um, the shrink wrapping or cling film. Um, if you're using a port fire or a gas gun or something like that that will burn straight through the waterproofing and the sellotape and it will light um, the fuse no problem. But obviously if you're trying to um, you shouldn't really be using matches or lighters uh, and that won't really do the job if you're waterproofing in this way so if you are going to be lighting your firework make sure you're using a port fire or a gas gun so that it will burn through the layers very quickly and easily because they are um, nice and hot